$13.81. Right, also on Ag in the AM, Illinois farmers can now start applying for grants to help develop specialty crops. About 1,600,000 were available last year through the state's Ag Department. This includes fruits, veggies, tree nuts, and also nursery crops. A 2010 survey shows that more than 100,000 acres of Illinois farmland are devoted to growing specialty crops. The last day to apply is May 1st, by the way. All right, time right now, 618, still ahead here on Good Morning Quad Cities, creating technology. The after school program taking toys to a whole new level. Plus, caught on camera, the bus driver telling students to make fun of another rider. That an Illinois native was one of four who died in the shootings at Fort Hood. According to the Effingham Daily News, 37 year old Timothy Owens died in the attack. Owens grew up in Effingham, Illinois, in southern Illinois. Investigators say Army Specialist Ivan Lopez shot 19 people at the Army base before turning the gun on himself. Lopez served four months in Iraq but never saw combat. He had been treated for depression recently. This opener is a major milestone for Wrigley Field. The ballpark is celebrating its 100th anniversary. Crews made final preparations there yesterday at the field. There's the tarp. The team planning on a year-long celebration. They'll have throwback uniforms for every decade and give out bobbleheads for Hall of Famers. Cubbies are visited by an old friend on opening day. Brian Sandberg brings his Philadelphia Phillies to Wrigley Field today. Also at Wrigley, you can buy hot dogs, beer, popcorn, and also shares of the team, possibly. New reports say that the Ricketts family thinking about selling minority shares of the team. The money would be used to help pay for a $500 million plan to renovate Wrigley Field. Forbes magazine says the team is reportedly worth close to $850 million. All right, uh, interesting news out of Washington, D.C. The White House isn't very happy. Part of the Boston Red Sox championship celebration turned into a commercial.